Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe and Ministers Ravi Karna Nayaka and partly Champika Ranavaka handed over houses to low-income earners at the Sugadadasa Indo Stadium. Housing units from three complexes named Mihijaya Sevena, Helamuthu Sevena and Ramuthu Sevena, constructed in Henamulla, were presented to low-income earners today. The three complexes comprise of a total of 3,300 housing units and was constructed at a cost of 15.92 billion rupees under the UDA's Urban Revival Project. The previous government, under the guise of developing Colombo, created lanes at Racecourse Road for the elite in Colombo. We launched our project with the construction of 20,000 houses. I wish to state there would be no issue in increasing that number to 30,000 houses in the next five years. This was not done by a dictatorial government. This was done by a government which did not have a majority in parliament. This was not done by a government which introduced the white man culture, but by a government which came under criticism every day. We established democracy and we created houses as well. Our government will go down in history as the only government without a majority. I wish to state a lot of work was done in fact by this government. If we can do much without having a majority with a strong government, with a majority, we can develop this country and eradicate poverty as well. People who want dictatorial power to develop the country are those who cannot do anything. Today you can reprimand the president, prime minister, ministers and MPs as you please. If you did so back then, your final ride would be in a white van. Yet the prime minister, the development for Colombo is not enough. But today, it's the other way around. We must elect our own president, create our government for development with you in 2019 and 2020. If there is no discipline in the country and in the party, how can there be development in the country? We have handed over the future to you, the Prime Minister. You must make the correct decision and we must all band together, casting aside all differences. We must all join hands. Those who cannot do so view it as a journey which cannot be undertaken together. I wish to state by joining hands it is the people who would emerge victorious and not the political parties. The ministry has filled 700 acres of sea area for the construction of the port city which should generate 80,000 jobs. If your children pass the ordinary level and advanced level exams, all those jobs in the port city will be open to them. Come 2024, we will make Colombo the only city in South Asia with no slums.